Today I'm going to demonstrate how to tune up the Drake TR4C transceiver uh, for transmitting. So I'm going to be tuning the finals. Uh, a lot of people, especially newcomers, are intimidated. Maybe that's not the right word, but um, but uh, they're they don't understand, you know, all these knobs and tubes and everything. And I want to show that it's really a simple matter uh, to get on the air tune up the rig and be on your way in short order. I'm going to go through this very slowly for demonstration purposes, but once you practice it a few times, maybe over a week or so, you can tune a rig like this up in about 10 seconds, no problem. This is my pride and joy as far as amateur radio equipment goes, and it's my only HF receiver. Um, I'm not a super old guy either, and I prefer this rig, which I've had since high school, and it was old when I got it, um, to the modern stuff, which I've used before, but I just uh, keep, uh, I, I see no reason to upgrade. I love this transceiver. It does everything that I want it to. It's got a very good receiver in it, very warm sound. I'll demonstrate that in another video. It has a great output as well, um, much higher than most uh, most modern rigs, uh, really, you know, putting into question if you'd ever need a linear amplifier for, for this rig, because there's not a whole lot to be gained. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Now, I got this rig, there we go, and I am on a dummy load, um, so I won't be broadcasting out to, uh, out to the uh, ethers um, while I'm showing this. Uh, I got this rig when I was in high school, and it was old then, like I said. I got my novice ticket, uh, worked some some of the novice band on CW, had a good time. Absolutely terrible at CW, but um, but I had fun nonetheless. I also worked a 10-meter phone uh, during, in the novice area um, during that sunspot cycle. It was back, I think, about 1989, 1990. Then I went to school, off to college, and totally lost interest in ham radio. As you might imagine, I had other things on my mind going off to school in another place, and <laughs> uh, this one, uh, this hobby, uh, was of absolutely no interest to me. However, I graduated, got a job, the things that you do in life, and um, a couple years ago, decided, hey, I'm I've been bitten by the bug again. Still had the radio, uh, had cobwebs in it and whatnot, but it was still uh, still here. And I sent it off to uh, one of the really great Drake technicians up in Ohio who does uh, work, repair, etc. He sent it back. It might as well be brand new. I love this thing. And I also had him install the uh, optional noise blanker, which I did not have beforehand, but he happened to have one. Um, it's a plug-in type uh, module for this, and it's very effective. Um, more so than a lot of the noise blankers and schemes they have on modern stuff that I've used. Extremely effective. All right, so let's start the procedure. I just uh, arbitrarily picked 40 meters um, as a uh, something to tune up. First thing I'm going to do, I've got it turned on. I'm going to make sure that this load control is set at zero, fully counterclockwise. I'm also going to go over to the transmitter gain and rotate it fully counterclockwise. Okay, so we're on zero on both. This one doesn't actually have a scale, but you turn it all the way to the stop, to the left. And then turn up the uh, volume. Now it's called receiver gain <laughs> on this. And a lot of hams have a lot of different uh, long ways to say the same thing, but this is the volume. And I turn it up. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to peak the noise I'm hearing out of the speakers to where it's loudest by using this RF tune. I'm going to kind of pre-coarsely do that, you know, just by ear. So I was pretty close where I was, and uh, by chance. So I turn this, not much noise, a lot of noise, not much noise. So let's put it right there where there's noise. Okay. Now that's done. I've got the load control at zero, got the transmitter gain turned fully counterclockwise. Now on this rig, and on many drakes, the uh, the tuning position, the tune-up position is XCW. So uh, there's four selections here, but 
XCW is where you're going to tune up the, uh, the rig. And uh, correspondingly down here, you have to set the sideband switch to the X. So on both uh, XCW and XAM, and this will do AM, but um, I, I would not choose this transceiver for an AM transceiver. It does not have an AM filter for receive. It's control carrier, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but this has got lousy receive on AM, and there's a lot better choices out there. It is, however, an exceptional sideband receiver and a really good CW receiver, too. In fact, they made this version specifically, uh, or a, another version of this same uh, transceiver specifically for CW, called the TR4CW. Then they went on to add uh, a receive, receiver incremental tuning control on on the next one. So you really could get this loaded out towards the end of the production run. But I love this one. I have no no reason and no desire to upgrade uh, to anything new. I wouldn't consider it necessarily an upgrade. In another video I'm going to show you the really nice audio out of this trick and receive. Alright, so I'm going to turn the volume up and I'm going to select XCW to tune up. Alright, now the plate current reads a tenth of an amp, which is the bias current, which is where it's supposed to be. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the transmitter gain, turn it to the right clockwise so that that plate current increases slightly upscale. And there it goes. Now I'm going to go to the RF tune and fine tune it using the plate current as my guide to where the plate current is peaked. And there it is right there. Now I'm going to quickly go up to the plate control and dip the plate. And it was already pretty much dipped. I'm already seeing output on a meter that I've got on top of it. Um, and I'm going to switch it back. Now, you don't want to keep a tube gear like this, tube finals, in an untuned state for very long with the power applied um, transmitting. However, it is uh, quite um, it is quite uh, resilient, and I've never had any problems with uh, uh, blowing tubes, etc. Um, this uh, this is very rugged equipment. It's very forgiving, so I don't really worry about it. I wouldn't want to go off and leave it uh, in an untuned state transmitting for five minutes or something. But believe me, when I was learning how to do this, uh, there was plenty that I messed up, and it was uh, no worse for wear. Okay, turn it back up. Turn the volume back up. And a little bit. Now I'm going to switch back to XCW. Remember, we went to uh, increase the transmitter gain slightly to see it deflect here, um, slightly upscale. Then we peaked the RF tune to max plate current. And then we dipped the current with the plate control to the lowest that we could. Now I'm going to take it back into tuning mode. Now I'm going to increase the transmitter gain until the current meter increases no more, but no more past that. And there it is. Now, after doing that, I'm going to push in this load switch, which also happens to be a relative output, uh, turns the meter to relative output reading. And it really is not meaningless or corresponding to, it, to how much, how many watts you're transmitting, etc., but it's just a relative power. Press this in, and simultaneously manipulate this load control and the plate. Let me get my hand out of the way. To peak the plate current meter. Get it as high as we can get it. There it is. Now I'm going to kind of adjust that. Now I'm going to let this load button go. There's the plate current and now I want to dip the plate again. And I was almost there. And there it is. And that is tuning up for maximum output for this band. That's all there is to it. Once you uh, get a hang of it, you can do this in about 10 seconds. I want to show you the other advantage of this rig which uh, there's a couple on the market right now that are that are new uh, solid, you know, obviously solid state, very advanced computer controlled rigs that uh, are uh, you know 200 watt output. But check this out. So here's uh, here's my tuner. That's an MFJ, and it's uh, MFJ is often maligned, but that tuner is fantastic. Um, there's my Drake uh, watt meter. Let's tune it. Let's, let me turn this to transmit on the on the uh, Drake real quick. There you go. That's a 200 watt scale, and the output is 200 watts. Pegging that meter. 
So if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, comment. I uh, love this gear, and uh, I will be uh, posting other videos about it. Thank you.